My name is Ann Giblin, and I'm a senior scientist with the Ecosystem Center at the Marine Biological Laboratory in Woods Hole. During the semester in environmental science, I give a number of lectures in the core course, and I teach a module on respiration and decomposition. We start the course by putting global change in context. How have the Earth's biogeochemical cycles changed over the last 4.5 billion years? Later on, we study how organic matter breaks down in natural ecosystems, both when oxygen is present and when it's absent. We also see what happens to nutrients, nitrogen and phosphorus, that are released by decomposition and how they cycle through the environment. For this module, we sample a number of natural water bodies in the field. By looking at stratified water bodies where oxygen is absent from bottom waters but present in surface waters, we can see nearly all the major biogeochemical cycles occurring in nature separated by just a few meters. We take profiles of the system using a hydrolab to gather information on oxygen, salinity, light, pH, and temperature. We then take water samples back to the lab and analyze them for carbon dioxide, sulfate, sulfide, dissolved iron, and nutrients. We also bring back sediments and measure the rate at which they take up oxygen and release nutrients. Students often tell me that they're surprised at how rapidly the profiles of all the various chemicals change with depth. I really enjoy showing them how they can use the data they collected in the field. This lab works to help them understand how all the process we talk about in lectures fit together. When I'm not teaching in the SES program, my research is focused on the cycle of nitrogen, carbon, and sulfur. Much of my research is now in salt marshes, but I also work on ocean sediments and on lakes in Arctic Alaska. In my spare time, I really like to hike, garden, and cook. I really look forward to seeing you next semester.